How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. In today's video, you're going to see us run two tractors to get an in-ground pool dug for Tony up at Tony's Tractor Adventure. I spent the weekend with him a few weeks back, and you saw the video about uh, how he was teaching me how to operate the backhoe. Well, this is a little more video of that weekend, so we're running two tractors. and So I'm going to talk about the safety aspect of it. I'm going to talk about the communication aspect of it. So I think you're really going to like the video. I also do something really, really cool in this video that I've never done in any other video. So I'd love to hear your feedback on it and let me know if you think it's a, a, a cool thing or not. So make sure you watch the whole thing. When you get to that part, you know, just leave a comment and say, yeah, that's cool. No, nah, that's cool. I could care less. Or yeah, that's cool. I like it a lot. Okay, let's get into the video and you see how me and Tony work a subcompact and a compact tractor together. All right, here we go. <music> The first thing you want to do if you're going to be working with two tractors in a confined space is you're going to want to talk about the game plan. Who's going to be where? What's going? To, what's the game plan? I'm going to come up on your left side. I'm going to come up on your right side. And he's explaining to me about the backhoe and how it operates and stuff. So that's something you want to iron out before you start the work. And now that we've got that ironed out, you can kind of see me hanging back because I'm not sure exactly where that backhoe is going to end up. So I just kind of wait for a minute. You know, then I see okay this is where he's going to go with that load of dirt then i'm ready to kind of get closer get um up there get my load of dirt i will say this about the bucket level indicator on that little mt125 it took me a little bit to get used to because i'm used to the bucket level indicator that has a little uh, crook in it i guess you'd say and so it took a little bit to get used to that sticker on top of the bucket i get up there and i get my first load of dirt and i take off and uh Take it to the pile, get back while Tony's still digging. Tony drops off another load of dirt, so I come up with this genius idea. I'm like, hey, Tony, I'll tell you what, man, instead of me having to try to fight this thing, why don't you just dump it in my bucket? And Tony, you know, he, <laughs> the experience in Tony allowed me to learn my lesson. So he's like, yeah, okay, I'll show you why this is not a good idea, right? You can see I'm sitting there waiting, I'm waiting. Um, I could have already made my trip back to the dirt pile and back, but I'm waiting. This is not very efficient at all. But Tony's allowing me to learn, you know, because he, he, he's like, you know what? I'll let you try it, and then I'll let you see why this is not a good idea. Needless to say, he could have hurt the, the equipment as well. Look at this right here. Watch the bucket right here. See how he hits the, the, the backhoe bucket, hits the uh, bucket on the front end loader? You know, that could have caused some damage, but we were fortunate enough that uh, it did not. So we quickly realized on day one, that's not the way to go. It's not efficient. It's not a good use of resources. And so we said, let's go back to you just adding the dirt and uh, I'll, I'll pick it up with the bucket and, and go from there. So, but at this point, I'm thinking Tony is moving his back up. We talked about earlier in the video is like, hey, listen, um, you know, we, what's our game plan? So I, I see Tony bring up the outriggers or the stabilizers there and get off his tractor. And I think, okay, well, he's going to position the tractor in another location to start that, the backhoe digging again. So I'm off to the left of the screen at this point. But watch what Tony does here. He doesn't position the tractor he goes in to get a scoop of dirt. And so I see that and I stop. And I'm just waiting, I'm like, okay, what's gonna happen here? So Tony's gonna go over there, he's gonna do some dirt work. He's gonna get that big old 240, leveling out that dirt a little bit, cleaning it up. And he's gonna get his own bucket full of dirt. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. but. I had to remember that he, see how I back up there and I give him some room because I don't know what he's doing, right? So he gets his load of dirt, but watch me in this video. Watch me cut to the left here and then I give him room and he's still looking down. So that's, he's trusting me to get out of his way. So we get this ironed out, but it's coming toward the end of the day. So we kind of, we get ready to debrief each other on uh, how did the operations go through for, on day one. 
And so what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about day one. And Tony's over here telling me that I'm a horrible operator and that I should have done this and I should have done that. And I'm just like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, right? We're talking about some important details, how we're going to fix day two. Uh, you know, make sure we get gas and we're looking at the hours on the machine and whatnot. But now let's go into day two. So Tony's starting to dig here and I'm making sure that I'm still out of his way. You know, we're not doing the drop the dirt into the bucket like we did in day one. I learned that lesson well. But check out how fast the compact tractor backhoe is compared to the subcompact tractor uh, backhoe. Check this out right here. I don't know if it's the operator or the equipment. I'm pretty sure it's both, right? But that subcom or that compact works ten times better than the subcompact as far as uh, ability and quickness. So we've got a big hole dug at this point, and Tony's kind of doing some work down on the drainage end of it. You can see we're working in a swell, and that's going to come that's going to come into play here in a second. But Tony's doing some work, getting some uh, some dirt piled up there. And he's going to have to clean this dirt up. And so what we're going to do is he's going to go ahead and take his bucket and clean up that dirt. Now I'm off to the left of the screen here and I'm just checking out what he's doing. He's getting his big experienced bucket load of dirt and you know, I'm getting my rookie loads of dirt over here, but um, he's going to come. Now watch me come in on the left side and I want to tell you why this is important. See how his tractor's on an angle right here. He's in that swell. Now I come in and I've got the subcompact, I got the 125 there and I'm gonna get my load of dirt. Now I'm gonna to opt to back out of there because I don't wanna go into that swell with that backhoe and risk uh, getting the tractor stuck. But here comes a really cool part of the video that I wanted to show y'all about. Hey, if you made it this far into the video, I wanna tell you about a new project that I'm doing on Hamiltonville Farm YouTube channel. It's where I give back to the viewers. You know, it's really important that when you guys leave your comments and you engage in the community that uh, I, I pay you back, so to speak, you know, because your support to this channel means everything. If I don't have people like you watching, then I don't have a YouTube channel. So I, as my way of saying thank you, I'm gonna pick a random person uh, to give something to. And in this video, I want to give some small engine carbon choke cleaner to Homestead J. Homestead J leaves a lot of good, well thought out comments on my channel. Uh, he has no idea I'm doing this, uh, so I hope he sees it, right? And so Homestead J, if you reach out to me at HamiltonvilleFarm at gmail.com, I want to send you this as my way of saying thanks. And so I'm going to do this in random videos, and uh, it's not going to be every video, but it's, a, it's my way of saying Thanks for supporting the channel. What you guys do in the comment section and the views and the shares, it really means a lot to me. And the least I can do is give back. Okay? Thanks a lot. Let's continue with the video. This is really cool here. You can see me and Tony. Tony's got that dirt. He took it to the pile. Now watch me kind of hang back. Well, Tony does something here. He goes and he starts to move this brush. Well, I know he can't circle around to the left because of the transom and the, the house is kind of close. So I just kind of wait. And I want to see what he does, but I'm going to, I'm going to uh, edge up closer to there. Now on the right of the screen, when I'm out of the picture, I'm still looking at Tony and I see that he backs up. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go to the right side of this dirt pile and then Tony can now egress uh, the left side of the dirt pile and come back to the workspace. And that's a that's huge nonverbal communication right there. Man, we'll tell you, we got a lot done on two days. Uh, it, despite the fact that it rained for a few hours, we were able to get a lot of work done. I really appreciate Tony letting me come up there and do some work on the, the LS tractors. But you can see the communication it takes and the, as far as the safety aspect and the teamwork aspect of it to get a job like this done. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. Old Tony, man, he gets a lot done. I enjoyed my weekend up there with him. Uh, you, you know, you really saw how important communication was, how uh, looking, you know, keeping your head on a swivel type thing is good. Uh, it's super important. I really hope you enjoyed the video. 
And I want to say something. I really appreciate the fact that you guys hit that subscribe button on our channel. It means a lot to me, as I mentioned earlier. So thanks a lot for that. You're going to see that little white circle pop up. That's the button you can hit. Or below is a red subscribe button. Click on that. There's a little bell underneath there. That will notify you when we get new videos or when we put new videos out on YouTube. If you click on that, it'll notify you and you can watch our latest releases. We appreciate you doing that as well. Anyway, hey, thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. You guys take care.